Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you UART protocol. UART means Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter Protocol. UART is used for serial communication. From name itself, you can understand how UART can function. U means universal, means you can apply this protocol to any transmitter and receiver. A means asynchronous. Asynchronous means what my dear students, here we do not use clock signal for communication of data. So UART means universal asynchronous receiver transmitter protocol in which serial data communication will happen without clock signal. Now my dear students, let me tell you how many things that you will be learning in this video. You will be able to understand how UART is established for serial communication. You will be able to understand how parallel communication is there with respect to serial communication using UART as well as I'll explain you how to configure UART and what is the data format which is there with UART. At last I'll explain you what are the advantages and disadvantages which is there with UART. So let us try to understand first basics of UART. So my dear students when we talk about basics of UART you should know UART is Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter Protocol that is used for serial communication. Here that we can establish by two wires only. One wire is used for transmission. Second wire is used for reception. Here data format and transmission speeds are configurable. So before you start with communication, you will have to define data format and transmission speed. I will explain you how to define this data format and transmission speed. Here my dear students for communication you do not have clock over here. That's why it is referred as asynchronous communication with UART protocol. Here let me explain you first how this protocol is designed physically. So here I'm having device 1 that is having transmitter pin and receiver pin. Here I'm having device 2 that is having receiver and transmission pin. Here transmitter of device 1 that should be connected with receiver pin of device 2 and transmitter pin of device 2 that should be connected with receiver pin of device 1. That is how simply you just need to connect two wires for communication. If device 1 wants to send data then it will be sending data on transmitter pin and here receiver of this device 2 will receive it over here. And as if device 1 wants to receive the data then that is possible on Rx line that will be forwarded by Tx of device 2. Here when we compare this serial communication of UART with parallel then you can observe here in parallel you need to have many buses over here. Obviously based on number of lines you can understand in terms of bus complexity UART is better but parallel communication is good in terms of speed. So when you go for speed at the time you should select parallel communication. When you want low speed application at the time you should configure UART over here. So here UART is used for serial communication. Here bus complexity will be less. Now my dear students let us try to understand how configuration of UART is been done before transmission. So my dear students, you should know both of this device who is connected with UART protocol should know what should be the speed of data transmission. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to define speed with both of this device. So first of all, we need to configure speed of device 1 and device 2 for data transmission that is referred as baud rate. So here baud rate that should be same for device 1 and device 2 otherwise both of these devices cannot understand at what speed and at what rate data is coming. After that we need to configure what should be the data length. So here device 1 and device 2 both are configured at fixed data length. As if device 1 is transmitting data then device 1 is configured with fixed data like as if device 1 is configured with 8 bit size of data then device 2 should also be configured at same size of data which is of 8 bits. After that my dear students 
here you should know when we transmit or receive at that time we will be forwarding start bits and stop bits here i'll explain you how to do that in data format and here when you communicate as per uart protocol here we are using nrz coding for data communication so not written to zero that coding is been used i'll show you how it is there so now i'll explain you data format of uart so ideally when we see the signal which is there regarding transmission let us say device 1 is sending to device 2 so transmitter will give data to receiver of device 2 ideally it will be logic high now first of all we need to send start bit as i have told you so first we will be sending start bit that will be logic 0 and once we have start bit device 2 will understand okay somebody is communicating over here now we are having same speed configuration with both of this device so after start bit device 1 can forward data let us say i am considering 8 bits of data length so i'll be forwarding 8 bits over here those 8 bits now received by device 2 and you will be observing after that you may provide parity bit this is optional but this is quite effective as well see what will happen with parity bit by using parity bit we can identify whether we have received data correctly or not see here i am sending 11100010 and based on that parity will be there see here how many ones are there one two three four so even number of ones are there so obviously parity is even for that i have assigned logic zero let us say i am receiving data with some error so here let us say this zero that is getting converted into one so now error the data that is one 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 again one then zero zero one zero so here what should be my parity here there will be five number of ones so parity should be one but here parity is zero what it means whatever data that i have received that is having some error so parity bit that we can have for identification of error that is optional over here with uart after that we need to send stop bit this stop bit may be of one bit or two bits that is up to programmer who is defining this here i have considered one stop bit that is logic one over here and after that again this line will go ideal so that is how data format is there so there will be one start bit there will be data length that will vary from five to nine bits then after parity bits may be there it is optional then stop bits will be there here my dear students now i will be discussing about advantages of uart so you can easily understand this is having less physical interfacing based on two lines only will be providing communication simple to configure and data size is also configurable speed is also configurable you should know my dear students in majority of cases this baud rate is 9600 for uart protocol but there are few other baud rates that is also available here we can have full duplex mode configuration possible by using two wire so that is the major advantage of uart here one more advantage that is provided that is optional which is parity bit by using which we can identify error as well now my dear students i'll explain you disadvantages of uart so here you should know my dear students as this is serial communication you will be having less speed of communication as well as with uart we need to provide start bit stop bit as well as parity is, is optional so here redundancy that we are adding so that is also disadvantage redundancy is not in use as that is just for configuration only here this is asynchronous communication so here many things that we need to do in configuration like you should configure both device at same speed why we need to do that the reason is here we do not provide clock signal and here many redundant bits are there like start stop as well as parity bit so all those things are adding redundancy so this is how disadvantages and advantages are there with uart protocol so i think now my dear students you are having fair enough idea about what is uart protocol how to configure it and how 
people are using it in serial communication. Still, if any query is there, what I want is you just post that in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.